Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on Tavi's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. In my last episode, it all went down, 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 down. <laughs> In the worst way possible. Oh, complete massacre into the entire place so i know in the last episode i did ask you to vote to see what do we do going forward what we are gonna do we are going to reload there's just too many people gone too many main players that i want to see how their stories continue on we're gonna reload to the fight fight through it <laughs> hopefully live we just need to keep herself alive uh, the lady of saloon we have the lady char lady saloon we just need to keep her alive and hopefully then everyone else won't die so we're gonna reload we're gonna jump back into it and we're just gonna try to get through this as quick as possible here we are we are back again and as starion can still hide thankfully where he is and we are just going to try to get this flame and fist mark is sorted out as quickly as we possibly can. Come along, Isabel. He's kind of the one in charge. Oh. Yeah, that was a nice. He is a strong hitter. And now we have his buddies. <laughs> Latander's light seemed to have done something. I don't know what, but. Yeah, see, she's already right down. She's down to seen already so on Tavi's turn yeah I'll be trying to actually heal her up I think yeah we're just gonna go straight for Marcus he seems to be like the heaviest hitter out of the lot of them so that was 12 let's try again very good yeah happy enough with that we'll end that turn here Tavi's turn and I've gotten rid of all Tavi's healing spells Clearly at some stage I was there thinking, oh yeah, we'll have, um, we'll have, oh my god, Shadowheart, <laughs> I forgot her name, we'll have Shadowheart do the healing, so let's just throw this healing potion onto, yeah, it's very good, we can't really do anything else this turn, I am going to do Flaming Sword, just in case it go past Tavi, we can have that for... Oh, Latander's light is gone. Mm, don't know if that's good. Uh, we'll leave it the way it is for the moment and we'll find out anyway. Let's see. Paralyzed. Yeah, they do a lot of paralyzing, it seems. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Come on, Jahira. Ah, very good. There we go. Okay, she missed that. Please heal yourself. There we go. Plus nine. So she's, yeah, she's doing quite good. Now, my new favorite spell for, oh, we're going to go radiant instead of necrotic because these are like devils. So I would be very much hoping that they will get extra damage for it. We're going to end that. We can hope that maybe on the start of their turn as well that they might take extra or you know damage kind of like the moonbeam i don't know we'll find out anyway and let us see astarian again he cannot hide is the only thing what do we do chill i mean i do like that it's 16 percent disadvantage i'm going to guess it's because he's so evil Let's go down on flaming, <laughs> flaming hands on the flaming fist, I think. See if it works. Oh, no, I should not have done that. That was not good. <laughs> I did not think it would hit all of them. Um, Okay, guys, if you're wondering, uh, don't do that. Something you don't do. Okay, she's, yeah, she's being whittled back down again. Very good. Good woman. Spirit Guardian, he's out. Yes, very good. Ah, oh, she is... Even if she's not... She, look, 16 isn't great. Oh, no. 13. Oh, my God, it's so... 
<laughs> She's so she is tree away from death. That is not good. Okay, let's try to get rid of flying guys first then. Tercine, and we are gonna go in with uh what is he? Oh, he's still 51. 16, okay, and that. Same thing again. We are going to try to throw healing potion. Hope we get a few. We'll see. Throw it down. Okay, yeah, very good. We got her and Shadow Heart, which we will take. Bring Tara outside. Jahira, what are you up to, my dear? Can you... Oh, yeah. Oh, very good. Good woman. Back in we go. Okay. Look, Isabel, I... Thank you, Isabel. I could do with Isabel being a little bit <laughs> more aggressive, possibly, uh, with her spells and everything. Oh, very good. That's two of them down anyway. I'm going to move over. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he got hit with it anyway. We kind of just want to block his path to Isabel, maybe. Hopefully. Go on. Yes, very good. Trip attack. And he is down. Do you want to come in and help us? Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. We won't argue. And we are back to top of the round again with Astarian. We're going to get him behind. Oh, you should be able to, though. Why can't you? Can't be threatened. Okay. I don't... I mean... Will provoke an opportunity attack. Don't mind that. Now let's see. Oh no. I'm oh, sure he's looking at him. So that makes sense. I was going to necrotic touch him. But I was like that actually will not do much. Burning hands. We are not doing that again. Ice knife. We <laughs> we know what happens with ice knife as well. Firebolt. Might just try to hit him. Will he get another opportunity attack? No, he's already gotten an opportunity attack. Oh, that was a miss. The general will be pleased if Let's do fight. it. Okay. Okay. He is well and truly surrounded by us though, which I'm happy about. Now, we just... I don't know if their other winged horror has a go in with us. We'll find out though. Um... I'd be really hoping... Okay, 10. She's down again. She's low. But between all of us, there's nothing else in that room that will have an attack before we get around to top of the round again. Carlac, my girl. Let's do a reckless attack. And let's try one more. We are so close. Yes. Okay, that's him down. And Tavi. We should need too much, hopefully, on this guy. I... 17. Yes. Down. Very good. Okay. We are going to move Tavi out towards here. She can start, you know, blocking or attacking down here. We'll end that. Okay. Is he going to for Isabel? Oh, don't. She saved. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> oh, she is issued down to tree, Isabel. Mage armor. Yeah, can you heal yourself too? Okay, maybe not. Oh, we're just going to move Shadow Heart here. She can actually heal at level four. Look, it's not. Is it amazing? Revivify. No, we don't want that. Level 4. Oh, my. 7 to 35. I think cure wounds, so she'll... Oh, she would have to touch her and she can't reach her. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh. Let me see. Cure wounds. Yeah, it's healing word. Now, I could do mass healing word. It still won't even do much, but... Oh, let's just use it as a uh, level three. No, even that isn't. I'd actually be safer to just try to throw a potion. 
Pavi, my dear, we're going to take one of your great... Oh, I'll actually will take one of hers instead. I don't know why that provokes an opportunity of attack. We're going to eye that. We're going to throw. Because... Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's end. Let's end. What can we do? We'll just have to hope that we can get around in time. I, oh! Oh, my God. This winged horror just does not want to go down. Oh, my God. <gasps> Astarian. This is on to you, my dear. Time for a Hide. And try to do this, please. Come on, Asarian. Yes! There's a parasite in that corpse. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Isabel was healed. Oh my god, right. <laughs> F5. Okay. Okay. Still alive. So there we go. Progress. Phew! Uh, we might... We might have a chat with her. See how she's holding up after that. Hello! Where's Jahira? Uh, she's downstairs. Isabel, are you alright? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Yeah, I mean, Tammy always looks so perplexed by things. Uh, why target? I won't let that happen. Let's hope your cunning is as strong as your optimism. You're the key to all of this. Did you not just see my fight? That I definitely didn't have to do a second time. Uh, once I take his head, you'll be safe. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. I don't know how Shadowheart is going to feel about us, you know, attacking her Maybe beloved Ketherick. Okay, very good. She doesn't actually have anything to say. Um, am I check some of these bodies? <laughs> I don't like to hear someone talking there. Sorry, that's what I was listening for. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is Someone singing? They must all be talking downstairs now. I did think the counsellor was meant to be here though as well. But I haven't actually seen her around anywhere. There's Isabel just sitting reading. She has done her little moon thing. Mirror. A lot of mirrors to reflect the light, I suppose. Painted mirror. Just seeing if there's... Oh yeah, does he have anything? Someone's singing, but I can't make out who it is. Ah, mind player parasite, okay. Not train, this place. Oh, look, I'd just be like taking, putting it into whatever at this stage. It's definitely changing our brain though. This can't be good. <laughs> One day I'll catch a break. Let's see if we can figure out where all the noise is coming from. Who's doing all the singing. We didn't go around this way. We'll have a quick look out here. Are we blessed? We are still blessed and blessed in the saloon. We're happy with that. And at least now we better go down and check that they're all still alive, actually. Before I get too excited about things. Be like, oh yeah, they're all still alive. Go down and be like, oh my god, they're all dead. Oh, right. They're all still alive. Woo. Very good. 
First cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? You can trust me. I know. You've been there for us every step of the way. It's just all a bit much sometimes, you know? Yeah, I get that. I feel that because that is exactly how I feel. Giving our supplies. Find out who it is and bring them to me. Yes, mom. Hmm. Is it the cat? I broke bread with that flaming fist. Little shit. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not happy. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Yeah, you should have seen this coming. We were all... Let's focus on defeating Catterick. Agreed. We must end the threat at Moonrise altogether. With your help, we stand every chance of doing just that. I trust that you will. Uh, yeah, sure, it should be grand, yeah. Uh, not to report. A search burdened by unnatural darkness. But don't let that discourage you. Oh, don't you worry. Goodbye. I am really at five. I think we have kind of everything we need here, so I think we journey on to a oh, potion of invisibility that I think by the looks of it we can take. And that. And that. Now, guess logbook. Did we read this? I don't think we did. Jorah and Claudette, Grey Eyes the Wizard, and trying to boo and friend the mysterious Mr. Plack. Uh, James and I was thinking we might see someone we know, but unless Jorah was that the one he was on the honeymoon, which is he stole the money. Ah, this is where they all are. There's the counselor. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Hello. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? Not yet, but I'm going there. I'm heading there shortly. Merciful Timora. That's the first piece of good news I've heard since Elserel. But I'm not pinning all my hopes on you. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcement. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know the name Gortash. A counsellor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Hmm, Baldurian. Yeah. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, I thought poor Karlak would want to talk. So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. 
I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. Yeah, I do feel bad for her. I wouldn't like that myself. Uh, yeah, he's no place in power. No. But they always seem to get it, don't they? Yeah, sorry, Karlak. Uh, let's... He has a nice singing voice. Toward the towers. Uh, you heard right. With a single word, Floric could charge the coast's most powerful force with taking back the Grand Duke. We ought to be doing just that, not babysitting this stump. And yet, orders are orders. Yes, I don't trust her either. What is her end game with us? Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. <laughs> Daniel and me uh, climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the Shadowfell, yet it has not broken. I'm like, look guys, kill him. I'll get Shadowheart ask him some questions. We'll figure it all out. <laughs> I don't think that's the best. The name he mentioned, who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Was the name not in the guest book? I'm pretty sure his name was in the guest book. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Detect thoughts, probe his mind. That's a plus three medicine, observe. Uh, try to detect thoughts. I suppose he's not going to really care, is he? Because, well, he doesn't actually know what's going on. Oh no, that's not good. We know that. Oh, you are not of inspiration. I oh I do. Yes, let's use it. Come on, come on. Better. We prefer that. Let's go. Let's probe. Vanilla. Vanilla. Um. Okay. Repeat what you heard in his mind. Let's try some medicine as well. No harm in it. We have our guidance already added. Very good. Very nice guidance. Or very nice guidance. Very nice role in general. The patient is physically well, but psychologically detached. Dissociated from himself. He's been in the shadow fell. All memories will have been stripped away. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe? So that seems more like, we'll have to go look. <laughs> this was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Uh, and do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. And last one, investigation. No harm. Give it a roll. Uh, uh, we're gonna re-roll. <laughs> we're gonna use all our inspiration on him. But I want to get this figured out. I don't like having something left unanswered. There we go, natural 20. Critical success. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin. As if from manual labor. Or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. He's a bird. What Quite clearly. Pocket, Why? What pocket? Whose mm. pocket? Mm. All right, let's see what the latest. I mean, do I check his pocket? Is that who she's on about? Let's read. 
Oh, a signee, Art Kula, rank flame to obtain information about the current activities in Moonrise Tower and its environs, headed by Kedrick Torm of the regional ancestral Torm family. Take lodgings in the last house and begin investigation in the local house of Helen. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been attained. Note, the region's Torm family are long-standing devotees of Saloon. But rumours indicate a uh, Saren and Clive might be gaining momentum. Investigation report back. And that was over like a hundred years ago. Like, can I pickpocket? I mean, she's saying what was in his. Monsters snuffling and stalking in the shade where we are walking. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met R, anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Let's see. Yeah, see what I discovered. Thank you. Well, I know Carla was on about someone's. I'll ask I'd all of them again. Blade. But you'll have to make do with my luck. Okay, just in case, because she's on about someone's pocket. The cultists are among us, and you want to chat? Let the professionals handle this. Ugh. Don't even start me. Marcus was scum. But the rest of us are loyal to Duke Gravengard. Loyal to Baldur's Gate, I swear it. And like so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna vibe this. I pity you. Gonna hide. Oh, a tree gold is all okay. I thought there might be something else. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, Group hide, group unhide. <laughs> Did I unhide them? Okay, the rest of them seem to want to be hidden for some reason. Group. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, no, please stop. Please, please stop hiding. There we go. Um, the, re <laughs> the rest of them are still going. No, don't activate it. <laughs> I'm assuming this is maybe his backpack. Let's have a look. A healing potion that people don't seem to mind me taking. So clearly he is a bird. I'm pretty sure he is in this guest book. For a Harper's testimonial. We'll read that actually too. Let's just see. I don't know what a deer, yes, I knew it. Uh so he was here. Who are you as well? We'll talk to you too. I've known Marcus for years. To think that he would turn on us, on me. You did well to defend Isabel. I uh, know. Uh now where is our quest? Is it Jay? It is Jay. Let's see, where is our friend wake up uh, you, to investigate the house of healing yeah i was thinking it would want us to go there his what would you call it i'm sure he must play guitar let's read their testimonial and harper's testimony the last stand of Ketrick torm chosen of shar i do not know what magic the dark just this year summoned to our plane but it came from the weave then let it be cursed for eternity. For three days we siege the towers. For three days their dark bolts cleaved our ranks and on the third day as his men and women at last began to fall, Ketterick entered battle. It doesn't seem to be that I'm robbing anything, so... No, over here. Why is she going... Okay. Just because I want to see what she's going to do now. Where are you going, my dear? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That is the most roundabout way. Oh, just go here. Most roundabout way I've seen. Now, we haven't looked 
down here, though, yes. What's down here? I don't think it's locked. The cellar. Oh, this definitely doesn't look dodgy anyway. Um, yeah, I'm alting. Uh, so That's curious. It is. It's all very curious what's going on down here. They can't have a place like this, though. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's too weird that they have a place down here without something being down here. That looks like a prison. Oh, this is like their jail? Is there someone in here? We're gonna pick that up anyway. Maybe this is they would have, like... If I didn't roll well, Tabby would have been locked up. Esilu guides us through the night. She is the moon, the stars, her tears. Her sister tries to douse her light, but she protects us from our fears. Uh, yeah, I think I've read this before. Uh, Shar will take your sorrow from you, but beware her night is dark. She'll hide your pain and secrets too, and all your joy and all your spark. Sylvanus, god of all that's wild, of nature's danger and its charm, his glory not to be defiled, or you yourself will come to harm. So he'd be Tavi's god, all right. Um, Sylvanus. We use that. Yeah, so I think... I think this is just in case we got locked up down here for some reason. Let's have a look. Like the evidence chest. Oh, very nice. i take that though as well. We'll open this one. Uh, because... What's this, eh? How do we get back there? Hmm, very interesting. Can we break through here? There's clearly some way of getting out here. I mean, look at this other door. What is out here? Oh, there's a door there. But how do we get there? What if I just click on it? Oh, can't reach it. Has to be something hidden, right? Um, Because if I was going to hide something somewhere... Oh, yes! <laughs> it would absolutely be there if there was going to be any way hidden. Very good. Cracked wall. Um, Can't... Oh, I can target that though. We get, we'll get Carlac, I think, maybe to have a go at it, please. You might be a bit quicker work at this, yeah. Very good, F5 and that. Before we have to fight some demon in here. Uh, blow that up. Oh! <laughs> I was thinking afterwards, I was like, hope it isn't actually, um, <laughs> hope it isn't like oil or something. <laughs> oh, it needs tools to take that. Very strange, and wooden chest. Traps, please. Yeah, there is always going to be something hidden down here. Oh, locked. Astarian, my dear. Can you lock pick this, please? I have a feeling it's going to be like 20. 14. Alright, I thought it'd be worse. Add some guidance on. Uh, we might... might... Yes. Just made it. Bit of dirty 20. Yeah, you can open it now. You can do the honours. Okay. So we can't go down that way anyway. But we can jump... Here. I just don't want to get their little feetsies wet. Jump up there. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. They're going to be wet anyway. <laughs> watch your back. Yes. Absolutely watch your back. Yeah. Oh, what? There's something here. Well, I'll just help myself. Traps. <laughs> yeah. Disarm. Yet again, we have a lot to add to that, which should be fine. 
Yeah, very good. A nice over 20 again. He is so great for these kind of things. And locked. Of course it's locked. Let's lock pick it too. I don't want to wait to see what's in this. Same thing again. We still have our guidance up. Yep, yeah, very easy with us, Starion. And all his rolls continue. And let's see. Okay. Also, yeah, we'll take that. I'm more interested in what's over here. Clearly there's something root. Oh, it's a way to climb out. So maybe this is just another way in. What is that? Oh. What? Another cracked wall. So this is some altar. That's to share, isn't it? <gasps> I men locks whatever they are. I've never seen them before. We're gonna F5 that. Hmm, very interesting. And that's the way we can get out. But so can we just walk through here? Yep. <laughs> we can. <laughs> yep, very good. Fire and light is our friend. Yeah, fire and light. So, a fire and light is our friend. Let's, I think we just go straight in with a firebolt. Yeah, 10. And do we bother with a flourish? I, because there's the fear aura, I don't think we're going to be able to get near them. But you know what's going to work really well down here? You want to have a guess? Maybe a moonbeam. I think a moonbeam is going to work amazing. Teleport. Okay, lovely. Yeah, men love fear. Hey, very good though. We're getting opportunity attacks. Dice rolled again. I don't know what that's about. Uh, come on, guys. Dash. <laughs> I thought they'd all just fly over be the easiest thing. Yeah, fear. The entity. It will become frightened. Oh, yes. We have to make a wisdom saving throw. So we have to move a certain distance away from it. Because we're so afraid of it, basically. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I can try to rage Karlak. But I have a feeling. Like if she gets feared and she's pushed away from them. Maybe the fear is just that she can't move. Because it does say that she's frightened and mobile. Or it's frightened and immobile. I don't know if it's afraid of us, though. Come on. Teleport. Okay. Bit weird. We are going to absolutely moonbeam. I don't think we even need a level 3. I think we're just going to go with a level 2. It's Pop it down there. Saved. I'm quite surprised that it didn't take more damage. Because of the light. Uh, Guardian Spirit. Because it's my new fave. We're going to put on... Yes, and move. Thankfully, just with her moving, it uh, yeah, it attacks them. So we'll end that. Astarian, he is frightened. Disadvantage because he is frightened. <laughs> A fireball, so maybe yeah. Look, Ooh. so he obviously failed his yeah, he failed his wisdom saving throw. But no harm, we'll just keep getting him to try to attack. Now I wonder with this... Altar... I mean, I was going to say if we destroy it, I don't think it's going to let us destroy it, but... If we could destroy it... I don't know if it would take away from any of the shadows, I really doubt it, but... There might be something that... Oh! Missed that, uh, yeah. Frightened, yes, very good. That's it, you're running. Oh, because it runned into the moonbeam as well. Yes. Now, let's see, can she... Immobile fright, and this is what my fear was. Um, also at a disadvantage. Ah, oh, let's try it. Yeah. We're kind of just out of luck once you're frightened of them. 
that's it. Like, unless they come into proximity, you're just kind of fecked, really. Six, yeah, look, I mean, we'll slowly whittle them down with something. Oh, her concentration is broken. That's a shame. I know we should be able to move our moonbeam, though. Who will I go for? I think I'll go for this one because it has more health. And, oh, I got the two of them anyway. Yes. Okay, I think he saved this, so he should do a bit better. We cannot really hide. So I think, yeah, we just try to... Yeah, and do we get a flourish? That's a bonus action. The rolling to make sure we're not frightened might actually be our bonus roll. You know, they might be taking away the bonus action. Which is <gasps> she paralyzed. That's not good. How long does that last? One turn, okay. Don't particularly like it, but we'll just have to deal with it. Oh, very good. And another one. And that, yes! Charm. I like her dark little thing that she does, though. Growl. <laughs> uh, we are going to move that onto who, though? Which one now? So that one is nearly dead. That one. Charmed. Starion seems to be getting a kind of a bad deal out of it. I might just put it down here. I just missed that Starion with that. And if we have it, we are absolutely going to do it again. Throw this on to yourself. Very good. And I know she'll get an opportunity. She's a mobile anyway. Okay, no harm. Frightened again. I think he failed. Yes, let's try it anyway. Missed. He won't be able to move and <laughs> poor is Darian. Oh, what is it even trying to do? Who's it going for? She kept up her concentration, though. I'm happy with that. Claws on Carlac. We're back to Carlac. He's still frightened. That one is charmed, so we don't need to be worried about that. Oh. Oh no. Two good hits gone. She might lose her rage as well. We can move our moonbeam again though. And we're going to. I don't want her. I'm going to say I didn't want. Oh she is in mobile as well. Okay. Sacred flame. We do have fire. Maybe the fire disadvantage. She's like kind of disadvantaged with them all. The Sacred Flame actually seemed to do a bit better. Which one do we want to Sacred Flame though? I suppose maybe this one. Six. Very good. Then hopefully when it starts its turn there, we are going to drink an owl potion. Thank you, Astarian, my dear. And you shouldn't be frightened now, but that is a disadvantage. We'll whittle this one away. <laughs> Oh, one left. Very good. And that's... <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Oh, very good. Very good. And they're so weird how they kind of run away and then they come back and then they kind of go away again. Put it down on this one. Moonbeam take that and if we just move her down we're so close so close to killing them which one oh i think it is just this one left oh and it's saved he's incapacitated okay uh do you want to try anyway missed <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Get rid of the moonbeam. We're gonna F5 that very quickly. We are out of short rests, but that is okay. Oh. Take that. 
I mean, a bit weird. Oh no. Copper for your thoughts. I like to. It sounds like we need to fix. Oh so, yeah, bye. I have too much going on right now, Carlac. I'm afraid we have weird little. Better make camp soon. Might be a while before there's another chance to rest. Okay, clearly. And when you are given hints in a game, be it D and D or what path Baldur's Gate Tree or any game you play, when you're given the hint to rest, there's a reason for it. So. Lunite shrine, hidden away. Yes. Perhaps they had no choice but to hide. Let's have a read. I have concealed the sacred relic of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred and my loyal brothers seek to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Ketterick Torm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for depredation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Mulfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the Moon Maiden's light and hope that banner of fate soon rises against the treacherous dog form. We are going to bring that with us. I might just like the candles. She is like goddess of you know light and all that so might be no harm. She might be happy to have a few candles lit on her altar. I would check the wooden barrel. So somewhere here there is a relic that is hidden. Last light entrance key and a silver plate where is the key though see sometimes it's like so hard to see things maybe i have to pick that up anyway the silver plate no yeah <laughs> there it is light these two light everything silver chalice saloon prayer book might get astarian to take some of the the goodies that are lying around see now how like it's i'm hovered over it but it's it doesn't oh right she picks it up instead okay good woman latest let's have a read uh, dear saloon our fair maiden weave our hearts with treads of silver guide us with the light of the moon and quench us with the purest of tears shadows taunt us hear our prayers Shadows stalk us, hear our prayer. Shadows wound us, hear our prayer. Saloon, there with radiance loom, mend our hearts with treads of silver. Heal us with the drops of morning dew, and soothe our souls with softest star glow. Uh, Isabel might like that. Astarian, I know you're very wounded, my dear, but we might get you to pick... Saluna idol, really? Are you in need of a paperweight? <laughs> uh, sorry, my dear. We might have to put it. Lady a... of sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? No, sorry. Bye. <laughs> we might need something anyway. Now he said he hid it in the darkest. Oh yeah. The darkest corner of here. I will be very surprised if there isn't more down here to fight. Maybe not. Or maybe it was just that idol that I picked up is what he was talking about. But then again, there is another. There is a wooden lid for something. Where does this go? This goes up. Oh, it just goes back to the same one again. Does it? We can kind of go over there. I know there's roots we can climb up the side too. And um, we may as well just see what's behind this cracked wall as well. See where this leads us. Yeah, keep going. By the size of the square, I'd say it's just gonna like lead us back up out the way again. Yeah. Oak doors. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? Oh! So it just brings us right around. Okay. So what we might do... Well, actually, what we're definitely going to do is we're going to go back to camp and long rest anyway. 
We're not going to mess around. We're just going to long rest. Um, unless Annie didn't particularly want to talk to me. Okay, one of them does. Oh, a starion. What is it now, my dear? You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. What do you want, Astarian? <laughs> uh, I'm listening. I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. As Tarion said, it'll evil side is coming out. Evil power I won't do it. And how exactly will we do that? Until we transform evil power, I won't do it. He's not gonna like that though. And how would I be interested to see what he thinks? I mean I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Uh, murder some people and um Look, I'm not a details person, alright? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. He's so evil. Well, I say I'll consider. I'll say I'll consider just to. Uh... <laughs> it's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. He says it's looking like absolute shit. <laughs> I think you better stay in camp now. <laughs> I need him. I need him for his lockpicking skills. Uh, look, we're good to bed. Nice sleep. Definitely no visits during the night. And we're gonna go out and continue on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good sign. Good sign. Yeah, very good. F5 that because I want to climb back up the... Oh, the roots. I want to climb up the roots and see where we actually end up with that. Uh, so to do that, yeah, we can run up along this way. It was only a small bit out anyway. I hope I got what they were on about, though. You know, they were like, we hid it in the darkest corners in the year, so. Or is that? No, that's the way out. That's the knotted roots. Yeah, let's go up and see where we end up. I'm assuming it'll be outside of the inn. Now we're... That does not sound good. That really does not sound good. We've entered turn base mode. Oh well, I think we seem to be doing somewhat okay with it though at the same time. Opulent chest. We'll see if we start uh, taking damage. Oh, Astarian! <laughs> I know the environment wants to kill us, but can you. Actually, you know what? We're gonna just send this. Send... Not enough movement. Uh, pick up an edge of wears. No. Just. Oh no. Just. I don't know. Just not pick it. It's having my darling move out of the way for him. No. D okay. Okay. And that. No. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Can't afford to stay idle. Davy. <gasps> Shadow curse. Okay. Oh. I was like, are we all stuck? No, okay. And move over this way. Thank you. Starion. Please just lockpick this. Oh, I thought I saw something in the corner and I don't want to see what it is, but I think it's like a ghost. Oh, 
I didn't realise you could quickly speed up the rolls. Oh, failure? Roll again? Oh, I shouldn't have used the inspiration for that. It's too late. It's done. Let's go. 25, success. I told you. What is that? Oh, it's just like blown in the wind. I'll take that. Bed. Check the skeleton. Take that. Okay, so, I mean, if we enter exit, exit turn base mode, I don't think it's going to be good. Where are we on the map? Oh, there we are. Okay. Interesting. And we have to go... Oh, how's the healing is down that way? Two. Okay. Do I just exit turn-based mode? I suppose, yeah, and just let it keep attacking us. What else can we do? Oh, that's into protection. Yeah, I'm okay with that. God, this is not going to be fun with us getting constantly attacked, is it? Yeah. Right out this way we go then. Five and... Do I need to talk to these before I leave? Might be no harm while they're standing here. I'll talk to him. Out. Just to see if he has anything to say. Down. Man's changed. Changed? What? You mean to reach Moonrise? And I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Oh, let's do it. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Okay, let's do this then. Let's follow the guys to their ambush and hopefully it'll stop them attacking us all the time. Keep steady. We're closing in. Oh, looks like we're going to be in the ambush. This doesn't look good, does it? Are they some of our tieflings? Oh my god we will have to come back but it's just i want to uh, get this done first get into position yeah we'll go in with them i'll go back and check those bodies because i think it might be the tieflings oh no not into the burlap sack okay now what do we do we should probably group hide. Move over here. Are we... we are they... What? Do I just... Carefully now. Maybe I just talk to them? I'll talk to this one. She looks like she knows what she's doing. We bring more to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Your faithful stand ready, Majesty. Soon, oh, those lambs. March, soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Clear your throat. Stay hid and keep watching. They stay in the light. They do not go into the dark. Didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward. Huh? Ah! No! They will not go into the dark. Enough! Stop! They will not become shadows. They will not feed the curse. Forgive me, my queen, but I had to, before the dark got any stronger. Oh, Christ. Um, signal the harpers to attack? 
No, because I want that torch. Let's do it. That takes in the dark. Tell them. Destroy the blasphemers. Yeah, I think that was a good enough time as any. Take the moon lantern. For us to kill the weird spider dude. <laughs> Reverse Spider-Man, maybe? I don't know. I don't like him anyway. Oh, 20. Very good. We'll end that. Oh, straight up. They always go for a starion. Oh my god, this lad is gonna be. Look at the starries down like to that already from this lad. Poor Starion. He's just so squishy. At least there's one down. You know what I'm gonna do? You know, have a guess what I'm gonna do to you, my friend. I'm gonna moonbeam the hell out of you. Let's see, where are we? I won't level four just yet, but we will. Straight down on top of him. Moon shield, though. What's a moon shield? <laughs> that might not be a good sign, actually. Now, Hunter's Mark, okay. Very good, yeah. Please help us. Thank you! I like that. You're very good. Um, very good. We are going to just light it up. I was going to say like the 4th of July, but I am a lot American. But you know what I mean. Gotta light it up. Should we go back? Oh, opportunity attack maybe? No, that's just as far as she can go. And we are going to absolutely rage you, please, my dear, as always. She's such a simple one. It's just so easy with Carla. Like, you just rage her, get her to hit things. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're going to end that turn. <laughs> oh, one down. Oh, guys, can we please deal with Spider Dude, who is clearly the worst? Oh, another barbarian. He has a wolf heart. Oh, they all have moon shield. Oh, concentration broken. Oh, yes, see, this is obviously protecting them all. Reckless war cry. Okay, right, let's see, let's see. Attack healed up. I kind of don't want to lose any of them either, being honest. You know, because they've been so nice to us and helped us. Very good. Oh, yeah, let's try it. Okay. Very nice. Astarian is kind of caught in what he can do. Can he... Disadvantage. Oh, well, you know what? Your man has high defense, but... We need to be somewhat healed. We are just going to normal attack him, I suppose. We're kind of caught in that he will absolutely... Ah, no, look, I could have done the disengage. It might work out better, though, that this lad will get... Um, If he comes near any of us. That is a bad guy, isn't it? Yes, that is a bad guy. Let me see. Ice Storm is going to hit, I think. I was going to say Shar Shadow Heart as well. Fire. Might be good. Seven. Look, it's not great. It'll do. Dash it. Get out of the fire, good lad. How's this? Look, 30. Oh, <laughs> it's like 37. Oh, we're doing grand. <gasps> okay, Shadow Hearts. You will provoke an opportunity attack. But I don't mind that. Let's get you up here first. Okay, and we are now going to put this on now that she got away with the opportunity of attack. Now if she kind of runs back again. Oh, does it hit him again? Maybe not. Let's go. That might be too overpowered. Yeah, try to hit him, please. 16, good woman. Try again. 
Foreseen, we like that end us. Okay. Please come back here. I don't know why that lad is like running off. Oh, very good. Concentration. Uh. I'll have to get her back up again. Yes, very good. Only oh, took one. They're not very strong, these harpers. You would kind of hope that they would be, wouldn't you? All things considered. Oh, and... I think if I throw a potion at her, I don't think that'll bring her... Get her standing. I mean, see, he will provoke an opportunity attack if he tries to leave. Um, right, let's see. I might just try to do it just to see if it can be done. It only had a 20% chance. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? We're just going to flourish this guy. Oh, 15. That was a nice old one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he is a bit of a heavy hitter, but I suppose our main thing now is just to try to get this lad out of the mix. Um, I know, Shadowheart. I know. He's down at 10. I just try to... Yeah. Yeah. 24, right? He's down. So now they can all at least focus on this guy. Hopefully. If any of them want to pick up Shadow Hearse, that'd be quite nice. <laughs> I would not argue. Oh my god, did she just hit something different again? Yeah, try it again. 15. Okay, he's down. We can still bonus drink this. It's something. Look, it's something. I think she did she hit like a piece of wood. He's definitely going to die. Why do you keep running away? Come close. Will you please come back and help us? Okay. As long as none of my guys run through the moonbeam, we should be fine. Astarian again. Your man is down to like four. Let's just do it. Hide and fence. Yes. Grab the lantern. Um, where is the lantern? Oh, take off. Killing people now, playing with doodads later. We, we got us. What do I do? Do I equip it? Uh, oh, we have it equipped. It's equipped anyway. Yes. End that turn. Uh. Now we are going to move the moonbeam. I can some. Oh my god. Well done. Now I just need that lantern. Okay, someone. Uh, please don't tell me she's dead, dead again. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. That was, you know, a little toughie. I thought we took the lantern. Do we have the lantern? No, I don't think they went off with us. Let's talk to them. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures were well known among druidic circles for both their playful hijinks and malicious trickery. Oh please, oh golly me oh my, you must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. A druid. Uh, you ignore it, you'll be needing the lamp, yeah. Dolly, thanks 
Once you feel sympathy, now, druid kind, please set me free. Not a hope. Uh, if I, will you help me travel? Oh, but it's not going to. What's this mechanism? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Nor you'll be needing this one. I'll gut you like a ten-day-old if you don't release me right this moment. Am I you change? Am I you change your gutted many ten-year-olds in your day? <laughs> Never give them enough rope to hang you. Uh, yeah, ignore it. Ignore it. Keep the lantern. No, no, no. Yeah, that's it's absolutely going to try to kill us. Little wings, big mean mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not too nice, I must say. But does that mean now that we're protected? Because I'm not seeing it on us. But I would assume it does. I mean, we'll find out. Oh, no. Now, where was. Where? Oh, I think that's. I'm assuming that's blood on the ground. If the gods are watching I me. want to go back and check. Was it the guys we knew? I think we're being protected. It might... Did we come this way? Yeah, we did. I don't know if I have to take it out to see it. No! No! We will take that, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if these are our lads. I have a feeling it is. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. We will try to get Shadowheart to talk to them. Uh, lots of keys, prison key, storage key. I will absolutely take all keys I can get. Thank you. Why are being so bad for them, though? I will admit, I thought when I read Torm, it was the guy, the main guy from the um. Fresh. God, what do you call them? The tieflings. Now. My dear. I wonder what the next move is. I know, but I know what your next move is, and that's not turn undead. Speak with the dead when we can find it. Where is that? Even though Tabby has to speak with the dead now as well, doesn't she? She does. No target. I mean, none of them seem to be able to. It's just kind of sad. I'll put it on one anyway, just to see if I can. The corpse remains silent. Yeah. But I think now at least it's on her. Yes. So if there was anyone to talk to, they'd kind of start lighting up. Let's light this here. Um. Now, Basin's Guild is over this way. Yeah, I think we're gonna go over because very well. It is on the way to trying to find something for your man too. These look like well continuous. Flame, they're enchanted. You can talk to this one. Mm. What's oh, a true soul? Oh, <laughs> take the buddy first. Yeah, sure. Uh, I was gonna see if you know if you right clicked it, maybe it would do it for you. Speak with the dead. Oh, yeah, can cast without using. Oh, come, maybe it's because I'm too far away. I'm kind of confused. Where are you going? Please come back. Thank you, Tavi. Requires long rests, but... So why is it there? But then it's not letting me do it either. I don't like that. What's that about? Like, am I going mad? Oh, of course. Because it's over here. The corpse regards you lifelessly. This is possibly against Tavi's kind of druidic nature, maybe. I don't know. You know, bringing things back from the dead. We'll ask, how did you die? Unslaked hunger. Unquenched thirst. That would do it all right. Where are you from? To water deep born. Creepy, who were you in life? True soul of the Abyss. 
Absolute. Call is my name. Okay, and what is your profession? Oh no, how to gender peer would be more. Trapped shadow mastiffs repels them with flame. Very good, and last one. Where is that? It? Sounds like the mastiffs are still here, beyond the light. Yep. Uh, who? How are the torches still burning? Spell. Continual flame. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Sorry, my dear, but thank you for all the information. We very much appreciate it. Do we pick these up? I'll give it a shot. Uh, use. Okay, it's not doing anything. Um, black. Oh yeah, we'll take it for all the alchemy I do. I do so much of it. On a lost backpack. We'll be getting now close, I'd say, into the guys. Oh, she has a diary too. Day four. Scout and missing. <laughs> Scout and mission dispatched by Ketrick Tom to Shadowlands. Objective. Locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village. Disturbing sounds echo through the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly dark. May the absolute guide me. Water. Yeah, we'll take all of that. But your man stuff should be over this way. I'd be hoping because we have the I torch. Oh. <laughs> uh, very good. Reveals. How many of them? Uh, quite a lot of them, isn't there? Okay. Yes, we can take them on, I would imagine. <laughs> oh, what a little demon. Um, I'm trying to think, do we need to go in there? We can probably sneak around instead, but at the end of the day, it's all experience, isn't it? So they are ambushing, so can we just ambush them from here? Like, I can possibly just... Yeah. <laughs> we get a surprise round though, which I'm happy about. Oh, Pat is interrupted, yeah. Can we fire the... <laughs> it won't do anything, okay. They did try to... Perception failed. Oh yeah, we'll end that there. We might not be able to do much though with a surprise round, sadly. Because of where we Ah, what's that then? Movable brick, okay. I don't think we'll be able to hit yeah, we'll end that. I wonder what the movable brick is about though. Yeah, they're gonna have to come around here anyway, so he started there. But I might move it down to this guy, just so we can let them have a little bit of a go each. Eight, yeah. Because they'll probably have to climb down anyway to get to us. So we will start moving herself up as well, and we might just put this onto her anyway. She can kind of protect the others. Yeah, and that. And if he, he can Don't make it over here. Very good. Crouch. Touch. And engage, please, my dear. <laughs> there we go. And he should still hopefully be hidden. Shadow teleport. Oh, we don't like a shadow teleport. Is saved. It did not. Uh, it did not. Um, it protected against the tadpole. We will 
As always, rage and smash. Smash and rage. Off you go, please, my dear. Give this lad a good old fashion about. Reckless, yeah, very good. And we'll try again. They're kind of strongish. These could all be more maybe magically based, I'd be maybe assuming. Very good. Oh, up to Starion, he saw him. Teleport, teleport, lots of teleportation. Very good. Go on, straight into it. Yes, very good. Now, we still have our moonbeam. We're going to put that down onto this guy. Take that. Enjoy my moonbeam. We will absolutely, oh, please. Oh, she, yes, he missed. So we're just going to move it slightly there just so we can kind of get it a little bit damage should we say let's try this guy seven yeah look we'll take us a starion here then we'll get an opportunity attack so we may just do a normal it definitely looks like your man was trying to like drag him it does doesn't it oh he is he's like tethered to him or something that's weird oh Oh, affected and he is strangled. It is silenced. Okay. Alright, end that. <laughs> Haven't seen that one before. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've yeah, not seen that, so it just teleported with her. Okay, we will try to get you down as quickly as possible. Very good, Karlak. You're such a hard hitter. So this is clearly what they do. They garrote themselves to people and then... I mean, obviously, just move away with them. So I can ice knife, but the ice knife will, of course, hit our friend Shadowheart. So we don't want to do that. I don't want to move the moonbeam at the moment. I think we just go for... Yeah, straight up attack. What else? Nothing else I can do there. Oh, she can't put it back down again. I was really hoping she'd be able to put it back down again. Yeah, tenacity. That's... I don't know what that does, but... Okay, we'll just keep going. 13. Yes, very good. So close. Two away from killing. Now, I'd be very hopeful that we will get this one... Oh, on this turn at least. Yep. Yeah. Her scene, very good. Now we can start moving her up here to go back to help the guys. Growl. Yeah, so it's just it obviously doesn't want us moving either. Okay. I probably should have went for the other one, but I don't think I could have moved anyway. I think we're gonna flame sword it up. Maybe in turn. Let's see. And try to hit it. Yeah, not much but like shadow heart she isn't very strong so there we go another one down check that we'll take everything in that turn would she make it give it a go my dear yes and one more there we go don't don't okay I thought she's gonna run into the moonbeam oh we're out of Kind of things again, right? We're gonna have fun with that. Um, at least we kind of sorted the ambush. I do. Oh, so I need to find a way forward. We could not bother with the ambushes, but I do just feel like we're always better to actually deal with them. Let's see. Will she see the movable? Oh, Potter key. Okay. But this obviously looked like it was a pottery. Anyway, Potter's chest. I'm assuming that may be the key for the chest. How do we get up to you, though? That's a weird one, isn't it? I mean, do we just go up here? Or maybe it wants us to teleport around? Maybe I just have to, like, jump my way. I'm going to ungroup anyway. Not enough. Pat is interrupted. Okay, so if we... Let's say we... Go up here, please. Now, 
I'm gonna try to get her to... I mean, she can't reach destination, so we can't go around that way. How do I get up to you? That's a strange one. I mean, there is a roof. Kind of has dark vision, which helps. I did. I thought I had a long jump on her before. So those are the spells I have. There's level fours. Frain. Frain death. Spell is not prepared. I definitely thought I had like... Enhanced leap. So what do I get rid of for Enhanced Leap? You know what? I never use Thunder Wave. Let's get rid of Thunder Wave. Let's put in Enhanced Leap. No target. Oh no, target me, please. Thank you. Now can you... Okay. There we go. And get in there. Yes, very nice. Radiant Orbs. Let's read the note. Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirit with your white light once more. Great cunning to my brother, Halfred, in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name, Last Light, not be a portent, Last Light in. Let your moon glow continue. investigate the saloon knight's resistance yes that i'm going to be guessing is to do with obviously the statue that we picked up that shadow heart maybe wasn't too happy with but she'll just have to get over it i'm afraid let's toggle back our group mode now mason's guild is kind of close by i am also aware that we will possibly have those demon Dogs to be fighting. Trap. Oh. Be cautious. Where is the trap? Hmm. Interesting. Astarion. Disarm, please. The trap. Trip wire. We could possibly uh, jump over it as well, but I don't trust any of them to actually do that, so we're not going to bother. Very good, very good. 14, we like that. We will accept that. It is acceptable to us. Chains. Is this to do with the dogs? Oh, Harper and T I was going to say this looks like, uh, what would you call it? You know, like torture? Official interrogation transcript. Harper in charge. Galado of Everspring. Transcriber Luna Schworn. CE, your name. Dal. Dal. Timber. Ma'am. Occupation. Farmer, ma'am. Potatoes. A farmer. Hmm. How many guards has Torms sanctioned at the South Wall? Dal. Dal. Timber. Uh, what do you mean, South Wall? Do not play the fool with me, Timber. The moonrise set wall. I don't know. I swear it. Liar. Write this down, Luna. Torm spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said write it down. Yeah, they may have started to somewhat lose their mind with all of this, clearly. I mean, he's a potato farmer. How much is he really going to know? You know, that kind of way. <sighs> two chains. Maybe the two chains are just for him. I'd be like, you know, possibly I'd be guessing. You know, it was to do with the torture or the dogs that they were saying. No. Yeah, I think we're starting to get it. Because we... Quick. Because we have the light, we might be okay to go in, maybe? I do not like that it's saving. Let's see what happens. It might not even let us through. Okay, yeah. Uh, so clearly when we enter places... Like that, it's, it's constant damage. Mason's 
skilled, but you see, health say healing. What's down this way? That's moonrise. We're getting close to moonrise towers though as well. Mm. Okay. We are... Where are we? I'm lost. A starion. I'm sure if I just click on his portrait. Yeah. Okay. Back out we'll go. Shadow curse. We're back out again. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. That's the distance. So now exit turn base mode. Right, we are... I know we just had a long rest. We're going back to camp. And we're going to make sure we are completely up to scratch for what comes next. Because I do want to try to get your man out of his delirium, should we say. I want to help him out with that. So we are going to want to be at our full health, our full everything, uh, before we go journeying on. Okay, so for this episode, that is <laughs> oh, it's the pixie. <laughs> I thought Shadow Heart was having a freak out. Yeah, no, for this episode, that's where we're gonna leave things because oh, I think it's gonna be a lot is gonna be going down in the next couple. So we've already gone through quite a bit today. I'm quite happy that I went back and redone the fight again. I'm not gonna lie, I felt really bad about it about how it ended so i'm very happy that i've gone back and done that uh may not have been everyone's decision i do understand that uh but i suppose okay it's the playthrough i'm doing with it so yeah you know i just i couldn't go on without tying up all the loose ends and knowing what happened with those people so it's done anyway we will continue on uh if you like this video maybe give it a like and if you would like to see future videos by me maybe give it a subscribe as well and as always i'll have a playlist here of the rest of tabby's journey to date if you'd like to watch any more of that all 40 something odd episodes within act one still we might even hit the 50 mark yet <laughs> so if you want to watch the rest of it it's all there as always, though, just thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!